Hello guys, my name is Stackknackers. Uh, this is a tutorial how to defeat Venstar, the uh... Well, it's like the boss before you get the King's Ring. And it, it can be quite difficult if you don't know what you're doing. So, this is a uh... well... I'm kind of like watching myself do this. I'm not actually record like recording at the same time. But there's the bonfire. That, I should just showed you the lift to go down. Sorry, I'm not good at this. Uh, but bear with me. So there's these guys. These guys are quite easy. You just need to. Yeah. By now you probably killed dozens of these, so I don't really need to t say much about these. But the undead crypt can be a very difficult place to run through when you. I like say if you die and you cannot be bothered to run through all of it. Like I was. Um, I don't do it in this video, but. Sorry, this might be a bit boring for a bit. Okay, I'll, I'll just tell you about my equipment. I'm using the Santius Spear. I'm, I have the ma Mad. The, the Mad Warrior helmet, the Faram uh, chest plate, Havel's hand things, gauntlet or something. So my build is okay right now. I'm I'm level like two hundred and one, I think. This guy's difficult because he just kind of stands there with the thing. You can normally just do this and run away from him and he won't follow you, but I decide to fight him. Because I'm... I don't know. I felt like I could do it. He's actually... He's actually not that tough, he just takes a long time to kill sometimes. You can actually get those shields, but the I've never seen them. I can never find them. Oh yeah, you want you want to make sure not to use your Estus flasks. You want to like stock up on life gems before this, because you might want those life gems in the boss fight. Uh, you might want those Estus flasks in the bond fight. In the yeah. Sorry. Now these guys right here, the Hollows, they're really annoying because you want to hide behind those things. They knock you out. They're not really there to damage you. They're just there to like punch you out of the thing. I am waiting for my chance to run. These guys are not these guys are not that difficult. They just do quite a bit of damage if you get hit by them. Well, actually not that much. It's, it's probably just my health. I'm also playing in New Game Plus, so this might not be as difficult for you guys. But it's all the same either way really. I don't see I don't remember anything different. Bam. Yeah, this this uh, spear is very good for taking out groups. It's one of the best weapons in the game, in my opinion. Even though I haven't used most weapons. I take out my... There's... This guy here... Um, I kind of run away from him because I can't be bothered. But if you go up and talk to him, he'll just say stuff, and if you light a torch here, those guys will attack you. So, do what I do, and do not light a torch. He, like, guards the dead or whatever. Stay calm. Okay, I will do that game. Thank you. Just follow the route where I'm going. There is a bonfire, like, here in this room. But I do not notice it until after the boss fight. I, I've played through this game without touching most bonfires, by the way. It's like over there. I'm like looking towards it, even though I can't see it. Yeah, you might want to kill these guys because if they it, like. As, as soon as they ring the bell, it's like death everywhere. If something rings the bell, they, these guys, these phantom things would come out. They're not phantoms, but they're like they're like Grim Reaper things. Would come out with swords, and they're difficult. Very difficult. Especially when there's lots of them. 
Luckily I didn't get any bells this time. Watch out for these guys coming through the wall. I'm playing Skull of the First Sin by the way, so some things might be different to if you're playing Dark Souls 2. But I doubt you're playing Dark Souls 2 right now, because that game's quite old. Whoa! That was close. And we hit it again and somehow he's still alive. These these guys can be quite annoying. I start using my life gems again. These guys can be difficult. Um if you're fighting them. But I think I do some uh, I think I do the smart decision. And yeah. What you need to do is run past them. But sometimes you can get stuck, so be careful. Make sure you actually have an opening. When you go down here, there's going to be like multiple doors. Try and find the one with the biggest... Well, try and find the biggest door, because that's the way to go. I'm a bit of an idiot, and I, and I didn't really think about which door was the biggest one. So it's kind of like running through every door, ringing every bell in the house. See, it's not this one. It's like you'll you'll see you'll know it when you see it. See, it's like the bigger one. So you go down there, and this is like the the. This is the part when you when you have to run for your life. This is like the road to hell. So run down here as fast as you can. There's gonna be bells ringing, and there's gonna be a, at least in this called first in edition a dragon rider and two of those guys. You can dodge them quite easily. You go through the fog wall. So they can't follow you, and there's Velstat, the Royal Aegis. As you see, I've already died to him, but don't worry. Uh, this boss is kind of easy. You don't want to go so f like you you don't want to go so like behind him that he hits you, like with his swing, but you don't want to be too too in front of him. But it's difficult. You need to be you need to be on his side if you know what I mean. You need to be on the left side of him. Because if you roll too far and you end up behind him, he'll, he'll like backswing you. I think I can get backswinged a couple of times in this video. But if you've played Dark Souls for like for at least one at one time, you know that you have to like when when they attack, just Estus. Or introduce your way up, as some people would say. And yeah, I tested the rolling away technique. It doesn't really work very well for this boss. You need to be very, very far away. And I do see people. I oh, this time he he like buff himself, so do as much damage as possible in like the shortest amount of time. Don't worry, this won't hurt you. For the first time I played through this, I I was like. I'm not touching that box. But now he does magic, no dark damage. So if you have any dark resistance stuff, like wear that. Because he will be punching your face. And before the fight, uh, put, put on a buff or something. I do have a stupid mistake and do an SS fast gear, but it doesn't matter. I start changing my tactic a bit. Like, instead of rolling towards him, I start rolling away sort of like you know what I mean you can see me do it a couple of times but this easy is like 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 as some people like I've heard say even a dead horse can dodge so it's quite difficult to get hit by that one and it's very punishable but that one always gets me and he starts chaining it together sometimes Um, that's not really all for the moveset, really. Uh, I do come close to dying quite a lot of times, but as long as you Estus your way, you'll be fine. And make sure you don't don't get hit more than once in a chain attack, because that will kill you. That's how I died last time, if you've seen my souls. On the floor. See, like that... That thing, you can like fat roll and dodge that. I 
I don't know why, but I'm not doing... Well, I know why. I'm a new gun plus and stuff. But I'm not doing much damage to him. I'm not sure if it's just my weapon or whatever. It's, it's doing, like, okay amount of damage, but it's, like... His health is quite low to start off with, really. So... Try and get a heavy weapon against this guy. Don't go for a dexterity weapon, in my opinion. Go for, like, um... I, I was watching a playthrough with this guy, and he was using the... A club. So try and use that. It, it seems to work much better than what I'm using. But make sure you have the strength stats for it. I take a risk and start wailing on the guy when he has a tiny bit of health. But there you go, victory achieve. We get the Royal Soldier's Ring plus two because we're Nugan plus fist pump. And now, if we walk down there, the, those guys will start attacking us. So, we're going down here because this is where the Royal King is. There's, um, Vendrick, the king. Uh, there's the king's ring. And I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Uh, give it a thumbs up and stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.